Welcome to another tutorial on Google Docs. Today we'll learn how to create our very own resume or CV using nothing but Google Docs. Now my example looks something like this. You can see the grey and the dark yellow. An image, name, previous employment, professional skills and education. Of course these headings do not have to be the same on your own CV. You can change this and personalize it. So, let's get started. Go to Google Drive and open a new Google Docs. Now we all know that Google Docs already has a list of built-in templates for resumes, but creating your own makes it that much more personalized. So instead of using a pre-created template, we are going to create our very own. Start by inserting a table at least four columns and let's say something like about 10 rows. Now the first bit I want to create is this top which will have my name in it. So let's say I take these first three cells and I'm going to merge them. So right click and click on merge cells. These cells will contain my name so let's type John Doe and then underneath I'll want an image. Now you can easily insert your own photo here by clicking on insert image and then simply upload your image. Now I've already got my little avatar here so let's put it there. Let's select this cell and center align everything. Now I do want to use a different font so let's go with maybe syncope Let's say 24, bold, and the letters, I think these can stay left aligned. There we go, John Doe. It's looking really nice. Now next what I want is I want a blank line and then previous employment. So what I can do there is I can simply paste previous employment and I will merge these two cells. Leave this blank leave this blank and let's do the same with these two cells let's merge them this will be our set second heading professional skills professional skills and again leave some cells free and merge these let's say education this will be my third heading okay now this all looks very simple but I want to make it a bit more colorful. So let's give this cell a background color. Let's go to more, cell fill, and let's go for a dark yellow. Let's do the exact same thing for our headings. Dark yellow, dark yellow. For now, you can ignore all the rest. Let's merge the cells in my left column. There we go. And let's start filling out some of the details. Previous employment, I want this to be one big cell. So let's merge these. Merge and merge. Now merging cells is a brilliant tool to play with your layouts and colors. Previous employment. For now, let's just copy this information but feel free to play around with your own fonts and layouts. Here we are. Let's merge these cells a bit more and let's make this like that. Okay. We have our information here. Now I would like to have a nice little horizontal line in between my two previous employment places. So insert horizontal line we go and this may already makes it look much nicer company name let's change the font size let's use the same font as my headings so let's go with Ubuntu a bold title and a cursive gray colored text gray and bold. Maybe not cursive, maybe a darker gray. There we are. Web designer. 
Okay, I like that. Maybe a bit smaller. I think that would look good. So let's go with 9. Okay, much better. And we'll do the same for this paragraph now. Now I've already done my format up here, so now I can use the paint format and simply use the exact same format down here. Let's go to June, paint format, and use the same one down here, web designer, paint format, and we keep going. Okay, this is looking very nice. Now let's go to professional skills. So let's merge these cells just as we've done before. Merge, merge, merge. And merge. Professional skills. Let's copy the information we already had. So let's copy this information right here. Let's change the font to Ubuntu. Now let's insert another table. So insert table, two columns, one row, and we can now copy the information I already had on my example. So let's copy that. Copy languages. Okay. I'd like my little titles to be bold. Bold and a dark gray background. So let's go to more, cell fill, dark gray, and let's use the same one dark gray. Now I know what you're saying, this is not that impressive yet, but we're getting there. Scroll down. Let's add our education. Let's zoom out and have a look at our document. Okay, our document is looking a lot like what I want it to look like. So now let's go to our page settings. File, page setup, Let's change these margins to, let's say, one centimeter, top, bottom, left, and right, and let's stick to A4. Okay. Okay, looking a lot better. Maybe not one centimeter. Let's stick to two, 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 two. Okay, that's what I want. Next, we are going to get rid of all these borders. So we right-click inside our table go to table properties and change the table border to a zero points border all the borders have now disappeared and the last step is to give our page a beautiful page color so let's go with a light gray maybe a bit lighter let's see a bit lighter much better we now have a creative and professional looking CV or resume. We can now file, download as, Microsoft Word, open document, but what we want to use is a PDF document. So we'll download our file as a PDF and when opened it looks like this. I hope you have fun exploring the many different layouts that you can create using tables and cell color inside Google Docs.